Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you how to program your remote control for the Hopper 3 Whole Home DVR. Let's get started. The first step is to press the home button on your dish remote control. This will bring you to a home screen on the TV. You'll want to navigate down to menu and over to settings. And then you want to select settings. Once on the settings screen, you want to navigate over and select remote control. This brings you to the main screen to customize your remote control with all sorts of different uh, options. Uh, the first option I'd like to show you is to program your remote control to operate a television. You can see here, I already have my LG television programmed in here, but even if you got a new television or this is the first time you're programming a television, uh, either way you can select here. You're going to want to pick this top option, which is the TV pairing wizard, which is the recommended option. You'll want to select the brand of television that you have. Uh, in my situation here, I have an LG. Uh, they have quite a backlog of TV manufacturers listed in here. Um, there are just about every TV manufacturer you could imagine is listed if you look for it alphabetically in here. So it's quite extensive. So I've selected LG and we're going to go to next. And then we're going to wait. Now the remote control found 85 codes for LG. It just programmed the first code into my remote control. I'm going to try to adjust the volume on the TV uh, up and down and see if it works. It is working. So I'm going to go ahead and select finished. But if your remote control did not respond to the volume controls, on the television you could go over here and select try next code and the system would program the next code into your remote control and then you could try that one so you have to keep trying the codes until you find the right one uh, mine happened to work on the first code so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click finished here in addition to the TV pairing wizard you can also teach the dish remote control commands from your original manufacturer remote controls. You can do that there. Or you can also enter the code manually um, and you can get the codes from dish or from the uh, manual that came with the hopper. So now my remote control is programmed uh, for my LG TV to be able to operate the volume and uh, the power and the mute on the TV. If you have a sound bar or audio receiver, you can program it here using the same steps. And let's see, we have customization buttons here. Uh, we have a customization button, uh, buttons for the diamond buttons that are on the remote control. Uh, the diamond buttons are located at the bottom corners of the remote control on both sides of the zero. They're located there. And you can customize those buttons uh, for all sorts of things. You can make, I have it set here to record a program automatically and to also uh, toggle in and out of closed captioning. But if you click on either of these options here, you've got all sorts of different things that you can uh, choose from here to customize your buttons. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Yeah. So you can do that however you want. I'm going to go there like that. If we go further down, uh, you see our volume and mute buttons. You can control, you can tell the remote control that you want to operate the volume using the volume button on the dish remote control for the TV, which is how I have it set up right now, or if you had an audio receiver or soundbar programmed to your remote control, you could program this option 
to control the audio on the soundbar or audio receiver automatically instead of the TV. That works out great for people who use a audio receiver or a soundbar all the time for their audio on their television. And if we go further down here, uh, you can customize the recall button. And let's see here. There's one more option I want to show you. Limited mode. Limited mode being turned on uh, does restrict your access to the function buttons on the side of the remote control. So if you want to be able to operate a auxiliary device like an audio device or something like that, uh, you may want to turn limited mode off, but ordinarily I believe it is turned on. Infrared reception uh, is an option that you'll want to turn on if you plan on using a remote control with your hopper that is not the original remote control. Uh, the dish remote control that came with it. If you plan on using some sort of a universal remote control, uh, you'll very likely need to turn the infrared re reception on for that remote control to work with the hopper.